What is a one-line diagram, also called a single-line diagram? Well, in the electrical power industry, we have a shorthand notation where we can show a more complex electrical system in a simplified form. This is a wire-by-wire -wire schematic diagram for this system. So we have a power source up here. This is an AC 120-volt supply. This can be represented by your panel, say, for example, in your house. And from this panel, you're taking a hot wire through a circuit breaker, in this case a 15 amp single pole circuit breaker, through number 14 gauge wire down to a receptacle indicated by this symbol. We've got a hot, the other side of this receptacle is a neutral connection and then we also have our ground wire. These two wires come back to the panel and connect to that source. We can simplify this because when we have multiple receptacles and multiple panels, this would get very cumbersome. So let's take a look at this diagram in its one line diagram formation. So here again is our AC supply and the circuit breaker wires down to a receptacle symbol. As you can see, we have combined all three of those wires into a single line, hence the name one line or single line diagram. We still have our circuit breaker here, and then this isn't just a single wire, this is multiple wires in an actual cable like a Romex brand NM cable. So we have two number 14s and a number 14 ground all in this line. And then here is our load, the receptacle. And it's called out as a 15 amp receptacle at 120 volt. And as your electrical distribution system gets more complex, you can see how this will help in this diagram. Where we have a source up here like the transformer that goes through a CT can for working the utility meter that comes into a big main distribution board with a main circuit breaker. Here's our individual feeders coming off of that with their own switch and fuse in this case that feeds multiple panels. And we can indicate the conduit and wire sizes with these tags. So this shows you the power of the one line diagram.